Hello Scrappy Peeps. I am here to show you my first kit for 2018 from the Wild Hair Kit Club. Um, I apologize in advance for my voice. I'm sure you can tell I have been sick. I've been sick for the past three weeks, which um, put a little bit of a damper on our holiday plans, mostly in just not getting much decorated and not much done till the last minute, but it all turned out fine. I am trying to modulate my voice a bit so that I don't come out with huge coughing fits. Um, so <clears throat> hopefully we'll get through this and you'll enjoy seeing my kit nevertheless. Um, I asked, well, I'll just show you. This kit is very, very different from anything that I've had in the past, <clears throat> primarily because it has a ton of pink. Um, I have said it before, I am not much of a pink girl. It doesn't mean I don't like pink, but it's just not something I gravitate towards, and when I use it, I use it in small amounts. However, I told Allison specifically that I wanted to create some layouts and projects for um, <clears throat> to scrap photos that were mainly for my, my girls when they were little. Um, <clears throat> either baby or toddler and she asked me back she asked for permission do I you know do it can I give you pink and I said sure <laughs> it's not that I don't I hate pink I'm particular about pink but you know I can scrap with pink and I have scrapped with pink and I my my girls weren't always in frou-frou pink stuff uh, at all but they had a few outfits here and there and um, yeah I, I can do this and I have photos that will go with pink so anyway as usual <clears throat> with the wild hair kits we get a card just showing appreciation and I'll just start top down <clears throat> so uh, these are dear Lizzie die cut phrases and um, I, I opened this up a couple weeks ago when the kit arrived and I haven't really explored. I just kind of looked to make sure that it, <clears throat> the things that are in there seem to um, apply to the things that I requested. So I wanted to open this up right now just to check it out. These die cut phrases are, um, some are printed, I like that. And I think some of them are plain. So I'm not really going to go through all of them, but they're interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you are my happy. That's cute. So I like that color. My kids wore a lot of kind of aqua colors, so that'll work out. And then these are, these are great because they are uncolored too. So, all right. So I will probably show more of those when I'm actually creating a layout where I might be rifling through those. <clears throat> and then I have here a bit of twine, which is always, always cool because twine is awesome. I feel like twine's making a comeback and that makes me happy. So pink and it's a shade that matches here. Now, <clears throat> this month, all of us design team gals are getting petite kits, which works great because I actually wanted a petite kit for this month, um, thinking that I do want to dive into my stash more. And it's great that with the wild hair kits, you have the option of a petite kit. Um, I think it just provides just a mat on enough um, that you can supplement with your stash and you can, you can get, feel like you're getting something fresh and yet using up you know the many things that you've already accumulated <clears throat> this is pink paisley's turn the page puffy stickers <clears throat> a lot of variety there <laughs> look at that a little um <laughs> those are so cute little band-aids oh my gosh i'm gonna have to look for something that i can use that for because they're just adorable so puffy stickers nice <clears throat> And um, now these I truly love. Allison said she added touches of 
gray for me. I've been so into gray lately. I've been painting my house gray and all that. So um, clouds, sort of my thing. So that's adorable. And this one just says, I love you, black and white. Goes with everything, definitely. And then these are very interesting. I mean, I saw some of the design team members get some of these earlier, somewhat like in August, September. Occasionally these have popped up, and but they were in black, and these are in gray, and I, they're just like shards. So I'm not sure what to call them. And I'll have to figure out. Hmm. They almost look like petals. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to investigate, see what I'd like to use those for. <clears throat> okay, now into paper. <coughs> Some great, um, I asked kind of for pastelis, and these are great six by six. I like six by six because the designs are smaller. So I, I'm really loving this sort of chevron type thing. I might cut that out. And um, I, I can't get enough plus signs, so that's perfect. And I believe this is Pink Fresh Studio. <coughs> or maybe it's, oh, I think it's Pink Paisley Turn Page. I should have looked that up ahead of time. So some great just, um, okay, there's not to that. Uh, just patterns. And then these little cut aparts, which have some cute little phrases. And then up to the uh, big paper. Now I did ask to be embellishment heavy. Um, and so this is great because I have a few pages that are full size, but mostly embellishments. So this is um, Creative by Caitlin Schaefer Agenda. It's for Echo Park. And that's cool. I like the I, I like words and numbers and stuff on my papers. And then the other side is really cool. These are um, to-do lists, or not to-do lists, but lists. So that opens up some possibilities. And then this is Crate Papers Carousel by Maggie Holmes. And to be honest, no, this doesn't do anything for me, but I can always use a wood grain, so that's perfect. And this one is Chamel's Little by Little. So this got this uh, busy chevron, which <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of feel like it's a little too bright, uh, but there's these really cute hearts on pink. And then the last paper is, this one's cool, uh, Pebbles Girl Squad. So the front has flowers, which is very versatile for scrapping young children. Um, I do have girls, but like I said, there was all, they're not like, we do have a lot of princess stuff, but you know, it's just, I don't know, there's quite a variety of what they wore and what we did, so. Um, I can still use, you know, flowers, but. I really love this one too. It's uh, just leaves and I, I like the color. It's not too olive and it's not too bright. And then cute little, those little bicycles. And this one had this strip, it's happy, 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 which is great. And um, these don't really have any strips, but I'll just put this back together. So. I'm most likely going to use both sides of this <laughs> and probably more of this. I don't know if I'd venture into maybe cutting some of this out. I just don't see myself using the whole thing. Definitely the wood grain. Uh, I could go with either of these. I'll probably be cutting that up quite a bit. Lots of great smaller patterns and lighter patterns. And since this is a petite kit, I... Um, can mix it with some more stuff that I already have in my stash. 
which is one of my goals. 2018, I am using things up. I am not going to be buying as much as I used to. So here is my whole kit. Actually, I'll just leave this right here like that for you. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will be coming back with some layouts using this very fun bright kit. Thank you.